Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for January 25th through the 31st. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Let's see. You started talking fast. Let's see what about. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Two of Pentacles, a little bit of indecision. I don't know who that belongs to because from what I can see here, Scorpio has got their shit back together. Um, in the recent past, you get the Five of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Emperor. Now that's you standing in your power, leaving any kind of illusion, self-sabotage, any kind of energy that didn't serve you at all, leaving that all behind you. You know, kind of saying, God damn it, I need to get back to me. And you did. You know, stop living in La La Land. Stop living in things that you may have told yourself that weren't necessarily true. We all do that. So don't beat yourself up. And I see you not doing that. But just standing in your power, basically. Um, in the current situation, you get the Judgment card, the Star, the King of Wands. All right. There's somebody here that you may want. Um, there's definitely a decision at stake on your part, um, and it involves making up your mind of what you want, basically, or who you want in this case. It could be that you're finding somebody to be very charming, very attractive, very, hmm, a possibility here. Um, beautiful energy. In the immediate future, you get the Page of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Death card. There you are popping up with this energy of the death card. Um, there's a little bit of a sense of... How do I put this? You kind of cutting your own wings. You know, there's, the, there's this curiosity, this explorer part of you, right? That acts a lot of the times like a little kid, like a curious little kid, right? Like, I would like to try that. I would like to see what that does, you know, to experience, to experience that on my own. And then comes the logical part of you that says, what? No, I'm not going to do that. Why would I do that? No, that's stupid. That energy of you kind of not allowing yourself to be this curious little Scorpio, right? Um, that energy is going away of you overthinking things. And no, just if you feel that it's right, you're going to go for it. You know, there's that kind of sense showing up here. Let's clarify. Let's see what's up in here. Let me see the two of pentacles. The sun, the high priestess, the four of wands. All right, so there is an energy of commitment here that brings you a lot of happiness. Your intuition is telling you, this is it. So your intuition is guiding you in that direction and it feels good and you know it's right. For some reason, you're kind of still struggling. Should I follow my intuition or should I stick to what I know? You know, which could be another connection or coming out of something. And it's kind of like a struggle of should I let that go completely and follow this or what should I do? Uh, this is very powerful, what your intuition is telling you right now. Now, I'm not telling you listen to it or don't listen to it. You do whatever you want. I feel like this is going to win. Um, your indecision, your whatever it is you want to play with here, it feels a little too good to not go with that. But again, you do whatever you want. You have free will. Um, let's see here. Let me clarify that five of swords there in the recent past. Eight of wands, the chariot, the six of wands. There's a little bit of that sense of being in somebody's face, being like, I need to talk to them. I need to be by their side. Otherwise, who knows what's going to happen? 
you know, and it may have come from you, this energy. There's there's almost a desperate kind of energy at stake of hanging on to somebody, being there all the time. Otherwise, who knows? They're going to go away. They're going to forget about me. You know, there's that kind of an energy here at stake, which is coming in with the Five of Swords, which is telling me that was a little bit of a crappy kind of... just just you trying to justify uh some actions here that came out of your own fears you know um and again we all do that i see this when i see things like that in any kind of sign i'm like well okay but everybody does it not to justify it but just so you know you're not alone we've all done that at some point now it depends on each of us how far we're going to go in that energy or how, when it's time for us to say no more, stop. It's coming from me. I can stop this, you know? Um, so that's why I'm, I'm not looking at this and judging it because I've been there. We've all been there. I'm pointing it out to you guys so that, uh, but I see you coming out of it. I see you stopping it eventually, you know? Um, now, how far we're going to take it, that depends on each of us. Let me clarify that I'm further. Eight of Cups, King of Cups, Knight of Swords. That's definitely you walking away from something. Finally taking action and walking away from something that wasn't um, beneficial to you anymore. At all. Emotionally, it wasn't serving you at all anymore. Maybe it did at some point. Not anymore. I see you detaching yourself from something physically too. Because emotionally you've done it for quite some time. Physically you took your time with it. Uh, let me clarify the judgment. In the current situation. Two of swords, eight of pentacles, nine of wands. See, there's that, there's that energy that takes you into the future, into, is it going to work out? Is it, it's working out right now. I see it working out right now, whatever it is. Work, love, friendship, I don't know what it is. Um, there's an energy of things working out in the particular situation for you, but you take it into that place of, for how long? Um, when is it going to show results? Um, bunch of shit we can tell ourselves, right? with the with the mind and i feel like you're a little bit stuck in here and the more you stay in this energy the more you'll uh stay in the way come on here you'll stay in the way of what is actually working out right now i don't know what's gonna happen in two days in two years you don't know nobody knows but by being in two days from now or two weeks from now or two years from now we're missing the what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of you now is the situation working out. Um, again, I don't know what situation you would know. Let me clarify the star in the current situation. Nine of Cups, Five of Wands, the Justice card, Happiness. Happiness. There's a little bit of conflict. There's a little bit of... People not being on the same page about a specific situation, but at the end of the day, it makes you happy, you know? And because of that, you're trying to um, resolve this conflict, you know, whatever this conflict is. It could be that your happiness might stir up some people around you that are not necessarily agreeing with your choices. I see this energy calming down, though. Let me clarify the King of Wands. Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, <laughs> Three of Pentacles. There's a mirroring effect going on here for you. I feel like the energy that you've been in and you've taken care of it, that five of swords energy, that self-sabotage, self-whatever, illusions, whatever it is that you've been in for quite some time. And it happens, it's kind of like a, I don't even know if they have a name for it or anything, but it happens to all of us when we're healing one aspect of ourselves. Um, 
we pick it up in others just like that, right? But sometimes we place it onto others um, because of similar behavior patterns or something that shows up in them that reminds them, reminds us of us. Like, you know, when we used to do that or when we, and there's a, there's a person here, there's a partnership here that you've got going on with somebody that I feel like it's, it's, um, now I don't know if this person is actually, um, trying to manipulate all of this or, but I see you recognizing that sort of trait, um, in this situation. And because of it, you might not trust the situation completely. Make sure it's theirs and not yours from your past. Because I see a similarity here of I healed this and now I'm going to see it in everybody else. You know? So make sure it's not yours. Make sure it's theirs. Uh, if it is there. Let me see the page of wands in the immediate future. Queen of Wands, the Tower, the Ace of Pentacles. All right, interesting. It almost comes in as a surprise and as a shock to you, this energy. Something grows on you. Something There's something that's happening without you being fully aware of it, where it could be one of those things. You're friends with somebody forever, and then you develop feelings or something like that. Something is happening without you being fully aware of it. And then it, it even surprises you. It gets to the point of, oh, what the fuck, you know? Uh, but it leads you to a brand new place in your life, you know, looking at life in a different way, wanting your life in a different way, basically. So whatever is happening here that catches even you by surprise, it's going to be beneficial for you. Let me see the Eight of Swords in the immediate future. Three of Swords, Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles. All right, should I stay or should I go? Should I take action? Should I do it? Should I not? What should I do? The more you stay in this energy of questioning something, the more it's not gonna lead you anywhere. It keeps you into a very painful place, into doubt, into fear, into insecurity. You know, it kind of makes sense because you're not feeling what you're supposed to be doing in regards to a person. There's somebody here that um, has the potential to offer you stability. Um, and I do see you wanting to take action towards this person. However, your thoughts might be your own worst enemy at this point when it comes to going for it. Um, you'll know, you'll know. If you take away this aspect, let yourself feel only. You'll know what to do. Let me clarify the death card in the immediate future. The Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. Be very, very mindful, very careful not to sabotage yourself, not to sabotage your own happiness. There's a sense here in you that says, I might as well end this before they do. Which again is coming out of a fear that somebody's going to end this and it's going to be them. And before they do that, I might as well do it so that I don't get hurt. And you still get hurt, ironically, right? Uh, but a lot of us do that. And a lot of it is very subtle in your reading today. It's shown up as being very, very subtle. Uh, things that are not quite obvious because you may be in the middle of them, experiencing them. And when you're in the middle of something, you're not going to see it most of the times, you know? Um, like if this energy is valid for you in your recent past, think about it now. If you're seeing it, that you have sabotaged yourself, that you may have told yourself who knows what that wasn't necessarily true. Well, think of it as all of these energies that are showing up. You're not going to see them once you're in there. When you get out of them, that's a different story. Um, let me clar oh, clarify. Let's, let's pull some cards from the universe to close it off. The moon, the six of pentacles, the devil. What did I just say? You're not gonna see it. You don't see things clearly in a situation that seems to be going fine, going perfect. There's something about it where things are not quite as balanced as you would think here. Uh, they do show up as, yeah, I'm giving to the situation, I'm receiving, yeah, everything's perfect. 
I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not saying this for you to start questioning any kind of relationship you have. Just take things as they are not as you would want them to be or as you think they should they are or there's again very subtle difference in how things are truly and how we perceive them to be so make sure you see this correctly whatever this situation is because it's hidden the truth in something that shows up as being equally shared here not quite there um so that's what i have for you scorpio hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye